Oh boy, look at all of the life around my pod, or my base. How oh, wonderful looking. How's it going everybody? I'm Waddles, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the deep, deep sea world of Subnautica. We have a call on the radio right away. Let's listen to it, and then we'll talk this about what we're going to do today. Trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed, over. Mm-hmm. Nothing but vacuum. These all oh. ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You know, help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far oh. side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll oh, try them boy. Again tomorrow. Damn, Charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. Mm-hmm. So, from the sounds of that, that sounded like a rescue crew, but it sounds like the rescue crew doesn't really want to come and help me. <laughs> Which is, uh, hmm, not very nice, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today, we have an ambitious goal in mind. I'm thinking about progression today. I want to try and progress things like crazy. So that means I'm going to swim around, find wrecks, and scan things. I'd love to start moving towards getting a Seamoth, getting better, um, you know, like equipment, all of that type of stuff. So upgrading is the plan today. Now, I the boxes that I need to look for are things like this, and the wrecks that I need to look for are things kind of like these pieces over here, except bigger ones. I need, you know, like tons and tons of stuff. I'm just going to kind of swim my way around the map. We'll do some jump cuts probably, and... See what we can find because uh, oh, there's one right over there. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, the faster you can progress things, like if I can find tons and tons of parts and stuff, the faster I can get to the really cool stuff, the different biomes and everything that's cool in this world, right? The opening area, like the area I'm in right now, looks real nice and pretty, but it does kind of get a little old after a while, right? It's the same stuff over and over again. So, we need to just start swimming around and finding things that we need to upgrade things. I'd like to check in here in my uh, blueprints, which is right here, um, about tanks. So, we have a water oxygen tank, right? Um, but I think we could probably upgrade it. Mm, if I can find it. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, here's a high capacity tank. I don't think I have a high capacity tank. I believe I have the standard oxygen tank so we need some silver that's not bad glass is pretty easy to and of course uh whoopsie wrong button <laughs> of course titanium is easy too so i'll just need to keep my mind on that stuff i'm um, by where silver spawns so we'll go ahead and check that out uh but we did pretty much scavenge this area for rex last time so i don't think this is going to be really where i should be looking around to find any rex or anything like that um i'll probably want to head to a different area of the world to do that stuff I'm looking for sandstone. I don't remember seeing this little wreck thing or rock thing here, excuse me. So I think maybe I could have some luck on this. Hmm, hopefully, please. Uh, what is that? Is that quartz? Oh, it's quartz. That's good, because quartz is glass. Mm-hmm. But uh, no sandstone here. That's a mean plant. Um, mm hmm. There's a wreck. Did I go in that one? I don't think I did. Uh... Man, no sandstone, though. Hmm, well, <laughs> no luck on the sandstone, but this wreck has attracted my eye. I'm curious here, because I see parts sitting around on the seafloor, like over there. That's definitely something that I have never picked up, I think. Uh, there's one over back where I just was, so let's switch gears. Let's scan this stuff. Bioreactor fragment. Very cool, very nice. That's a power source. Oh, boy, we have it now. Um, that's salt. I don't really care about the salt. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, we can go in there. That looks really dangerous, though. Uh, I, I know I saw something else around here. I mean, there's that over there. This looks like a table. Is this just a table piece? No, it's a scanner room. That's cool. Uh, my oxygen, though. Ooh, I need to get better fins, too. Where's the sandstone? Uh, is that? No, that looks like limestone. Sandstone. Come on. Oh, I see a life pot over there. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm noticing everything. I have never gone over to that life pod. Mm hmm. Well. Well, well, well. 
I mean, it doesn't hurt to get limestone, right? Like, it's, it's all good. Uh, there's some sandstone. Please give me silver game. Please, please. Let. Very nice. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, is there any more sandstone around here? There, there has to be. I haven't been here before. Come on. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, there's a shark, but other than that, nothing. Oh, yeah, I got to the silver, but <laughs> I went really, really deep. Uh, I should be good here. We're fast swimmers, but we have the silver. So I think what I'm thinking about doing now is actually going back to the base and making the oxygen tank and then coming back over here. So I need to go 260 meters in this direction. And to come back here, I need to go, I guess, even with that fire. I want to come back and check out the life pod that was somewhere underneath here, uh, over there. Uh, I want to check that out, so I'm going to go back, get that oxygen tank, and then come back again. Uh, and just to double check, yeah, we need glass. Uh, okay, so I'll pick up some quartz on the way. Quartz is just kind of on the seafloor in all of these random biomes. Uh, but we'll meet back up over here, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The Aurora is blowing up. Let's climb up here or swim up here. Excuse me and check this out. This is really, really cool looking. Um, mm -hmm. Where? OK, here it is. Oh, boy. I hope nothing bad happens. We're in the water and we're kind of close to it. <laughs> uh huh. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> that is so cool looking. Uh, and the ship is absolutely wrecked now. Well, uh, okay, back to my mission. Very nice. Oh, we got the radiation suit. Okay, cool. So we're gonna need to make one of those too. Oh boy, high capacity O2 tank. Very, very nice. That should send us, uh, what is it gonna take us to? Oh boy, 135, that's awesome. I'm gonna make a radiation suit as well. So we need fiber mesh, which means I need to go cut some of the kelp uh, down over here to make fiber mesh. Uh, okay, so we're back to where we just were. That's uh, Life Pod 6. I think we might as well check it out. We haven't gotten the like the story call yet, but it's here and we're here too. So I think it would be kind of funny to not uh, just go ahead and check this out. So what do we got in here? Uh, Ultra Glide Fins. Okay, that is nice. That means we can swim faster if we make those. We'll have to get on that. And then we have a PDA in here, which is story stuff. Some lead, which is nice. And I think that's just about it. So what I'm going to do now is go up and get some more. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're going to check this out. Then we'll go get some more oxygen. And then I'll be swimming around here. I am determined. We are looking for sea moth parts. So in case you don't know, the sea moth is the sea car of this game. Usually you can find the parts laying on the ground around the outside of these areas. If we can get our hands on a sea moth, then we can start cruising around the ocean and of course go deeper, find other things like the sea moth docking area. So basically the goal, the only other goal for the episode is sea moth and ultra glad things. Also, I do have the radiation suit now on, so it doesn't really change anything until we get near things that are radiated, of course. Aha, sea moth fragment right here. So this is what I'm talking about. They're really not that hard to find, but we do need to find a three separate parts to them. Now, again, it's a water car thing, so they're not going to be inside of these um, the disorienting wrecks here. I could go in it, but it would kind of be a waste of time. If we can get our hands on a sea moth, then we'll have a, an oxygen source. Sea moths are portable oxygen sources, which is so, so nice to have. Um, so it's just a matter of finding them first. With this extended oxygen tank, we can stay underwater for so much longer now, too, which is really, really nice. Mm -mm, not going to try it. <laughs> I thought about going in there, but uh, it's not worth it. So I checked around on the ground here. We have pretty much everything that I can see from this area. I think we're going to go ahead and, and move on to a different area. I'm looking for some quartz, though, because the quartz usually is found mixed into this red seagrass here. Uh, because we're going to need quartz whenever we get the sea moth thing. But yeah, like I said, I think it's time we move on to a different area. I see something right here. I want to scan this. Uh, scanner room. I, I'll go ahead and take it. But yeah, no, it's uh, about time we go 
elsewhere and start looking around because there's no way that I can really do anything inside of that wreck. Even with this oxygen tank, it's it's really just not going to work. Oh boy, okay, so here we are at a brand new biome. Things kind of look the same over here, and that's really because, I, I mean, we've gone far, but not really all that far. We have a red grass biome over there. I hear that fish. Uh, I swam way too close to its house. Uh, but there should be a few wrecks over here that I haven't checked out yet, uh, kind of like this one. Now, I'm going to try and only really scan things that I'm 100% sure that I don't have. Like, that actually looks like a seamoth fire. Let's see, is it? Uh, no, bioreactor. You see, I already have the bioreactor. Um, my inventory space is getting pretty full here, so I don't want to, you know, scan too many things. I'm just going to pick up quartz, fish that I think I need, and then, of course, scan the, the parts and things that I think I don't have yet. But I should be able to hopefully find some seamoth parts on this floor here. Uh, oh, we have a wreck over there. I'll head over to the wreck and do that. Um, yeah. Okay, part two is right here. Uh, that's good. Oh boy, there we go. Seamoth part three. Oh boy, I got the final seamoth part. I'm looking through here to try and... Okay, here it is. So, to make a seamoth, we need a titanium ingot, a power cell, some glass, some lubricant, and some lead. The things that I'm wondering about, or thing, I guess, is the power cell. I don't remember how to make a power cell. I don't think we're going to do it today. I just want to take a look at what we need. So, we need two batteries and some silicone. That's really not bad at all. But I think that's going to be just about it for Subnautica today. I'm about to make my way back to our home base, get some food, that type of thing, and uh, some water as well. Restock our supplies so we're good to go next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Subnautica. Uh, lots of exploration. And next time, we'll come back and we'll have a really cool car. Thanks for watching. My name is Waddles. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.